bad movies. Now, bad movies are probably a subjective term. Because people have different opinions. Like, one can regard something like Super Paper Mario is a good game, while others can regard something like Super Paper Mario is a bad game. To me, personally, Super Paper Mario is the best game out of the Paper Mario games I played. But, I'm not talking about games. I'm talking about movies. And movies are subjective. Because, well, I like movies. Somewhat. Okay, so I decided to make it a goal to watch at least a couple of bad movies. Why, you may ask? <laughs> so that way it has something to hate about. So far, I watched around, I think, two or three movies. Now, when they're considered bad, there are two ways to consider something that is considered bad to different groups. The general audience and the critics. Now, the reason why I'm saying that because, well, both the audience and critics can have different opinions. <sighs> or at least, not have the same conclusion. Like, the critics consider some, a Star Wars movie good, while the general audience consider, considers Star Wars movie bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah, same with something like Paper Mario. Like, I know it's a video game, but Paper Mario is the most divisive between sometimes critics and sometimes fans. Because some critics will say the Origami King is a good game, while some Paper Mario fans could say the Origami King is a bad game. And even then, some critics say that the Origami King is a bit repetitive in terms of battle, and some Paper Mario fans could say that Paper Mario... The Orgami King isn't that bad of a game. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? And now I have watched three movies that have been considered bad. Them being The Emoji Movie, Food Fight, and Reanimated or Out of Jimmy's Head. Okay, and that Super Mario Bros. movie, and I guess Hoodwinked and Happily Never After could be considered bad. Even though, in my opinion, they're actually great. Those the last two. Okay, so four bad movies. Now, I'm going to start with the Super Mario Bros. movie because it's the oldest out of the four, but it's also because I actually watched it before any of the other uh, movies. And honestly, between the four movies... This one is actually the best, but, <laughs> I mean, come on. The bar is Emoji Movie and Food Fight. It's not really that hard to be better than those two. I mean, <laughs> unless you're a YouTuber who's running out of ideas and using clickbait, or a YouTuber who is pretty low on its equipment and just using just the bare bones stupid stuff. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's up for debate. But, regardless, now, before I begin, I'll have to say, this will contain spoilers. Click off the video. I mean, then again, I don't think anyone would care about that because, I mean, they're considered to be bad movies. Now, the plot of the Super Mario Bros. movie is simple. I mean, come on. The plot is that someone, a girl gets kidnapped and it's up for Mario and Luigi to save it. Except, it's not 100% accurate. For example, the princess is Daisy instead of Peach. I mean, okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of interesting. I guess we don't want to use Peach. And there's a girl named Donna, which I'm assuming just the stand-in for Pauline, because Peach isn't a normal common girl. Even though, let's be honest, Pauline is a great mayor. Or at least, I think she would be. Anyone that likes jazz is great, in my opinion. And... Mario and Luigi are in debt. And have to fix some plumbing. 
Now the thing is, Daisy got and kidnapped by some evil people. By evil people. Or turtles. Sorry, I was interrupted. Anyways. And of course, it. And of course, Luigi tries to save Daisy and Mario just falls. Because he doesn't want really to get involved, but he still has to. Regardless. And we made a character named Toad who got and turned into a Goomba. It kind of saved Goomba the signs are quite nightmare fuel like. And there's Yoshi who looks like a freaking T Rex. Now, I'm going to explain the negatives of the movie. Yoshi's design, the Goomba designs, pretty much any of the characters' designs. The only designs that I say would are the greatest is Mario and Luigi's. And even then, they didn't reach their iconic red and blue green coloring for most of the movie. Like, I think close to the climax and end. I, I'm reciting this from memory, so I don't fully remember. There's two characters in Iggy and Spike. And they make, and at the end they said, Super Koopa Cousins, a reference to Super Mario Bros. Now, the only other designs that are passable is the bomb, because it's like the closest to the actual design. Mario Luigi's designs, even then, just looks not as accurate as their actual designs. So, yeah. Okay, up next is the Emoji Movie, because I watched that second. And I'm gonna sort of say the plot real fast. Blah 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 emojis, blah 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 phone, blah 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 blah. Honestly, out of four movies, I consider it to be, I guess, the worst. I mean, it was just bland. I mean, when I first watched it, I thought, hmm, it's not that bad. But looking back, it was, it was awful. It was just bland. And honestly, it's just cringy. Dua Banana is definitely the worst part. I hate that song with a passion. Then again, I was the kind of guy who didn't really like the dab at first, but kind of then start doing it and thought, hmm, it's not as bad as I thought. So maybe my opinion will change on the whoop nene. <laughs> Though it's kind of cringy seeing that Nickelodeon ad used that song, or make a parody of it. Ugh. And up next is Owl Jimmy's Head Flash Reanimated. And honestly, the only thing I remember, to, and I would say it's like, the dark worst. I mean, it's not as bad as the other two movies, but it's definitely a bit worse than the Super Mario Bros. movie. And a, a character named Jimmy, I think, I don't remember, he's not Jimmy Neutron, got in his sky on brain transmit when he was here in amusement park by some guy whose name I can't even remember. And he can only see cartoon characters, which... I guess it's a story about Mento. He has a sister, which is an alien. The movie thinks, I mean, honestly, I can't remember why she's on Earth. I guess she was kidnapped by the mom. Like, that's my theory at this point. I generally forgot what, how she even came to be. And with the guys, the film of the movie dying. That That's all literally I can remember. Then there's Food Fight. And Food Fight... Uh, is the second worst? I mean, yeah, sure, it's kind of stupid, but I kind of like the mystery plot from all I, rec I can remember. But even then, that's all I remember, the mystery plot. And food fights about these food mascots, or mascots, coming to life. And essentially, it's just Toy Story. With the lack of the emotion. In the end, and I barely forgot, and I actually forgot everything in the movie, almost everything. The only thing I remember was there was a dog detective. Like, that's basically just about it. So, how do I rank these movies? From best to worst, Super Mario Bros., Al Jimmy's Head, Food Fight, and the Emoji Movie. Or maybe the Emoji Movie and Food Fight. The Emoji Movie and Food Fight just tied, okay? Well, that's my video on bad movies. Now, this is just the bad movies I watched or remember watching. And I'm going to get to Norm of the Norm next. And oh boy. Isn't self-torture fun? No, it's not.
don't don't actually take that seriously. Please don't take that seriously. 